For the fifth consecutive year, the number of forcibly displaced people worldwide has reached 42 million and aid is now at a critical level. Euronews met with the UN High Commissioner for Refugees, Antonio Guterres, who highlights the most pressing issues that a growing number of people are facing. Mr. Guterres, welcome back to Euronews. Pleasure to be here. For the fifth consecutive year, more than 42 million forcibly displaced people. What can we understand from this? I think it's a combination of two factors. On one hand, a multiplication of new crises. Since the beginning of 2011, Cote d'Ivoire, Libya, uh, Yemen, Syria, the Horn of Africa, Somalia, uh, and then more recently Sudan, South Sudan and Mali. And at the same time, old crises seem never to die. Afghanistan goes on and on, or Somalia, or the Democratic Republic of Congo. And more than 70% of the world's refugees have been so for more than five years. Is the worldwide economic turmoil affecting the aid for refugees? Uh, the, the world economic crisis has two impacts. It reduces the amount of support, humanitarian support, uh, uh, for the people in need. But it is also a trigger of, of instability and the trigger of conflict in many situations. There is a clear link, for instance, when you have high prices of food and uh, social instability at urban level. So, uh, more requests for assistance, less money. How is the UNHCR dealing with this? At the present moment, we have three acute, huge displacement crises at the same time. Syria, Sudan, South Sudan and Mali. Uh, and this, of course, forces us to deploy as many people as we can, to ask uh, an enhanced effort by our partners. Uh, and uh, financial resources are really uh, key. We are really uh, in an extremely difficult situation to be able to respond to the needs of so many people in dire circumstances. The, uh, I can say that uh, we are witnessing human suffering on an epic scale. Refugees from Syria are arriving to neighbour countries uh, almost every day. Uh, do you think that the UN Security Council should do more to prevent this? As UNHCR, we cannot have a political uh, action. Uh, but of course, we recognise that there is no humanitarian solution. The solution is always political. The problem is that uh, if one looks at what's happening today in the world, uh, we see that uh, the international uh, community has a limited capacity to prevent conflict and a limited capacity to solve conflict in a timely way. The exodus of Syrian people is pressuring the neighbour countries. Uh, who's paying for the assistance of Syrian refugees? It's, it's a different situation from country to country. In Turkey, uh, Turkey has assumed this responsibility and they are providing protection. In Lebanon and in uh, Jordan, uh, we are cooperating with the, the, the two governments and uh, with the local authorities, but also with other UN agencies, with the Red Crescent, Red Cross uh, movement, uh, with the NGO movement, uh, with the support of the international community, of the donors of the international community, in order to provide to the people the, the assistance that they require. I think that uh, Syria is, uh, is something that uh, everybody is aware of. Much more difficult is Mali for instance. And the crisis of Mali, uh, from the point of view of displacement, you have a, a number of refugees that is the double uh, uh, in relation to Syria. Africa, which is the biggest concern for the UNHCR? We have uh, in Africa at the present moment uh, uh, a number of crises, but I would underline essentially four. Sudan, South Sudan. We have now 190,000 refugees from Sudan in South Sudan and Ethiopia. Uh, Somalia, one million refugees from Somalia in Kenya, in Djibouti, in Ethiopia and in Yemen. The Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, probably the worst violations of human rights that are happening today are happening in Eastern DRC. The situation of women, for, rapes, the, it's, it's an appallingly dramatic situation. And Mali, if one looks what's happening in northern Mali, you have a rebellion in which the arms and the fighters came from Libya. Uh, in which you have uh, different rebel groups of uh, uh, local uh, secular nature, uh, local Islamic uh, radical nature, the Boko Haram from Nigeria. Uh, I do believe there is a risk to have the same crisis from Libya to Nigeria, from Mauritania to Somalia. 
and uh, where the impact on global peace and security can be very, very dramatic. Is the world responding properly to the hunger and droughts in the Horn of Africa? There is a, a massive response. Uh, two of our sister agencies are very strongly involved, World Food Programme and UNICEF. But of course the scale of the problem is such that uh, even with this massive response uh, uh, it will not be easy to, to fully meet the challenge, especially if donor support fails. Is there any particular region where the situation of refugees is improving? We have now uh, hope uh, in relation to Myanmar. The, the recent confrontations between the, the Muslim and the Buddhist uh, communities, of course, are a matter of great concern to us. But peace agreements, uh, or, or at least ceasefires, have been signed with several of the other um, um, ethnic uh, groups that had uh, rebellions in the country. And we hope that uh, in the near future, uh, especially for the refugees that are now in Thailand, 150,000, we hope that there will be an opportunity for them to be able to go back home in safety and dignity as soon as uh, conditions uh, are met. Climate change. Is the number of refugees related to this phenomenon uh, increasing? Is the UNHR prepared for that? I mean, refugees, according to the legal definition, are those that are fleeing conflict or persecution. Uh, but the truth is that we are witnessing more and more new challenges of forced displacement due to other reasons. And there, climate change is probably the main accelerator, the defining factor of our times. Either because uh, the environment uh, is devastated and uh, there are no conditions for human life to be sustainable, or because these factors trigger conflict, trigger insecurity, and that uh, makes also people flee. Some refugee camps exist for decades, like... Um the Palestinian ones, or even the Kenyan one, the Dadaab. Are they uh, permanent now, or will we have a solution for, for these people? Yeah, the solution is political. And I can guarantee that even if we work very well, even if assistance is properly delivered, to live in a refugee camp is always an horrible thing. Finally, as a Portuguese, I have to make this question. Uh, you have been Prime Minister of Portugal. Are you considering one day to go back to politics in Portugal. Are you considering eventually to uh, candidate yourself uh, for the presidency in Portugal? The answer is very simple, is no. Mr. Guterres, thank you very much. Thank you.